Boketov Chabrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we're just getting up this morning here, uh, a little while ago here, uh, seeing that breaking news is happening in America. Nationwide anti Trump protests rock the U.S. It is not a good scene at all, there, guys. And, uh, uh, very unfortunate right now, but as one thing that uh, my wife noticed is immediately this morning, this definitely seems to be orchestrated by the elite in America. You know, they showed in the in the in the polls when Trump was trailing behind Hillary, looking like Hillary was going to win. Uh, Soros had said that in an interview as well that Hillary would win the electric and Donald Trump would win by a landslide. Um, and of course, had Trump lost, we would not see nationwide protests like we're seeing now. We would not see the people taken to the streets, destroying police cars. We would not see people torching buildings, burning flags, and saying, let the immigrants in, let the immigrants in. We See, they chose Hillary for a reason, and that was to be able to stir up the people and be able to bring this uh, this this type of rioting in the streets against uh, presidential president Donald Trump, uh, who is now president now, not just a nominee, in front of the Trump Tower, just thousands and thousands are there protesting uh, now. It is just a monstrosity of a protest, and how do you deal with something like that? People signs, not my president. And uh, it's just, you know, this is what will bring about martial law. This is exactly what they wanted. They wanted to make sure if Hillary doesn't get in the White House, they're going to make sure that, 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 uh, that they bring about martial law and they get, keep, maybe, maybe they'll end up keeping Obama instead uh, by doing this martial law. Who knows what's going to happen? But that's what we're looking at right now. Let me take and give you a little bit about uh, the article here. Look at look at the look at the masses of people right here in this one. I mean, everywhere across the bridge, on the streets, everywhere. I am also said so proud of the uh, so-called right now. Although I was happy to be protesting here in uh, Portland. This is Portland, Oregon. Part of me really would have loved to walk down those L.A. freeways. So powerful. I mean, it is across the nation. They want you to go out there and counter protests. That's what the elite would like to see. They would like to see a clash. They would like to see civil war in America is what they would like to see. And uh, you can see by all the different photographs here, this one here, um, see if I can see exactly tonight, we will allow a peacefully protest against the president-elect. We cannot stand behind. Um, so, so much for Hillary Clinton saying that they would rally behind the president. No, they're not rallying. And, you know, that just kind of goes to show you the type of people that supported Hillary Clinton and those that supported Donald Trump. Uh, the ones that supported Donald Trump went out and voted. The ones that supported Hillary Clinton, all these violent thugs and stuff, they probably have never even made it to the poll. They just wanted to express their discontent. Oh, gosh. What a mess, guys. What a mess. Everywhere you can imagine, all across the nation. Not my president. Well, one has a pretty nasty comment to say about Donald Trump. Um, and again, guys, I'm telling you, I, it, it's this is a setup. It is a setup. Uh, they're doing this with intent. I would not. I would not trust any of this. Um, I, I really believe it is a major setup. And I got the screen froze up now, so I can't go down there to that video. Very bad situation. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Do not get involved in these protests. I'm telling you, stay away from it. Don't go down there. Because they just, the next thing you know, they'll start attacking people as well. Um, and that's what they're wanting to do. I, I believe that this is, that it's, it is an orchestrated uh, plan. And it's orchestrated to try to... Uh, Put a stop to this. This is this will cause Obama to have to call out the National Guard. You'll see. You you watch and see. If they, if it doesn't stop, if they don't, if it doesn't just pass, if it gets grows larger and larger, which more than likely it will, 
It'll be exactly what they wanted. Declare martial law. You know, what do you do then? I mean, what does Donald Trump do when he becomes president? Crack down on the entire nation? Put the military in the streets because people are acting like a bunch of crazy people? I mean, this is, this, I mean, idiots is what they're doing. They're acting just like idiots. It's, 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 just, it's despicable. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, by the way, too, uh, last night we had done a report. There has been an attack on Damascus, a Damascus suburb. Uh, something else, let me just briefly mention that. And uh, we had actually pulled the video ourselves. I noticed in one clip that I used, uh, there it was questionable whether or not it was a staged video. So, um, but not from the Damascus government side. It was actually from the opposite side, from the uh, pro-Syrian uh, fighters, uh, or you know, the Syrian. Um, um, what would you call them? Uh, liberating uh, forces it looks like maybe they had they had staged a video and I did not want to see a staged video in there and I didn't catch it at first so I did pull that video myself uh, also but we had mentioned there was an attack on uh, Damascus the the Syrian forces were able to repel that I do believe that with Donald Trump being elected and there's a good chance that he would bring the Syrian war to an end uh, or the support for the Syrian terrorists there that are, you know, the, the, the pro-separatists, whatever you want to call them there. Uh, but the U.S. President Barack Obama backs that. He's going to want to really push forward with a major assault to get uh, Assad out of power. So there is going to be a power struggle in how that ends up there. So um, they're pushing hard against Damascus right now. A lot of fighting there going on. And also, uh, something that's not being reported much in the United States, it did get picked up by RT, 16 U.S. soldiers have died in the Mosul attack thus far. 16 of them. And, um, but that is not being reported at all. And I don't, I don't know why that's not being reported in, in U.S. media, but uh, it, it, RT did pick it up. Um, 27 have been injured. I was just looking to see if maybe anybody, if, if I could find that article for you here real quick. Uh, but anyway, 27 have been injured. Uh, the United States government is denying the numbers that have been killed there in the attack, but it is so. Uh, 27 were injured, 16 killed, and it is a travesty there uh, for the American people inside of Mosul, trying to take back Mosul. And I believe the reason they've had such a heavy loss of life there is because the United States wanted to show that they are able to more rapidly take a city than what, than what uh, Russia can do. And pushing so hard against ISIS caused a major loss of life for uh, the American special forces. And this is special forces as well, guys. This is, this is a major tragedy for America. And again... I don't believe it would have happened had the United States not been so aggressive to try to take Mosul, showing that, oh, we can do it. We're better than Russia, and we can go faster, and, and, and we have stronger and better forces. Well, they went in there to a major fight, and they lost their lives as a result. And um, that's only because of the poor uh, push of the American government to send the United States forces in a place that we really don't have any business at. Granted, I will say granted on one thing when it comes to Mosul, ISIS had taken over this entire city. It was a tragedy for the people living there as well, uh, being under such a barbaric, uh, um, especially the women being under such a barbaric reg regime, uh, controlling these people, uh, their day-to-day -day lives under Sharia law. And but once they have been, uh, once the, you know the Americans, the Iraqis came in to liberate this area, it wasn't as easy as they thought it was going to be. And um, but they tried to make it look good in in the in the eyes of the media, and that's what caused such a large loss of life. Um, anyway, I'm I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I just quickly just see if Sputnik happened to catch any of this. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, yeah, they are speaking about it there as well. Shalom and have a good afternoon or day, morning. It's more early morning for me, middle of the night.